They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Pick them up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Here's Stanford. Throw left side complete. That's Henderson. A five getting started, and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get. Stafford looks to throw again. A quick pass to Cup. And that's going to be. Quick slant here to Woods. And from the gun, here's Stafford. He's got the first down inside the 10. And finally taken down. That would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks. Has to, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Daryl Henderson. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to start to pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what Now on second and 13. Ryan airing it out, looking for Ridley. He's got a man complete. And he takes his 30. Now a handoff to Davis. Five yards. For a significant chunk of yardage. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, 26 yards. Well, the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. Raymond Calais now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down. Now a first down throw, Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. Second down, it's Henderson. And he's taken down, but able to slip it. First down, Los Angeles. Here's Henderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Henderson now on first and 10. And he'll get this down. They'll try the air now with Stafford. His throw in the sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. On third down, here's Henderson, and he gets this only. They snap it to Stafford, and it's incomplete. The 44. They begin with a run by Davis. They find some open field here, and he'll go down. Now Ryan on first down. That's going to be caught by Pitts. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Falcons on just two plays have taken the lead. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Raymond Calais now from his end zone. 
And only now went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, Lando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two minutes. Let him get downfield. They'll try the jet sweep. Stafford pops it forward. And this is going to be back-to-back -back tackles. It's about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it. On first down, Henderson. Like Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Stafford on third down. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Henderson going to run for it. And he'll have the first down. Stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Now here's a pass on first. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Open man right side is Cup. On third down, it's Henderson, and they will get to him. Here we go on fourth. Stafford caught on the slant. Touchdown, Rams. Bryson Hopkins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Looking up into the roof and he muffs it. It's loose. With five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And got his man complete. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get back to it. Both teams making their final adjustments. And we'll head back to Atlanta and rejoin Brandon in charge. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Raymond Calais now from his end zone. And ultimately, can football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. He takes this for three to the 29. On third down, it's Henderson. And they'll get him down about front of the game for either team. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. Control of the football in great field position. And he'll take this. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. He's got his pass. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18, the 40, 30, past the 20. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Oh, a good recent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Calvin Ridley, 60 yards. And the Falcons are an extra.
extra point away from tying the football game. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle, hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. If you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye -bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he's probably tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. It's a pick. It turned into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good at coordinator. I like to keep carrying it, thank you. Henderson will try and run for the first. And he's going to have the first. Play action. Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup. Complete. Seven yard run to throw again on second down. Stafford, and off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And that is at the line. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for Peter. He just made a great play there. Now he's gonna swing this one out to his running back and give him six. Here's Ryan. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. The first down carry for Davis. This will be stopped about two. Eager, you come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D. Ryan now off the bootleg. Getting this ball out wide for Davis. And he'll be out of And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? In the 30, Davis. And they'll be inside the 25. Here's Ryan. Forced out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red. They'll run on first down. Davis. And he'll go down. Again, it's Davis. And the reinforcements. Now Ryan. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. They'll try and throw for him with Ryan. That's to his running back complete. And he will have the first. 20, 20. Ryan to throw. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? It finishes like this. This is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. Two able to connect on the extra point. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come from behind victory. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, 
you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one gets on. Who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line. Of line of Hell game. yeah! Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.